your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Chris, I'm going to have you uh, change your mind three times, okay? Let's take a look at the cards. Here we go. Three times. I'm going to spread out the cards here. I want you to think of one of the cards. Think of one of the cards. Keep it in mind, okay? Now change your mind. Think of another one. Think of another one of the cards. And finally, change your mind one last time. Think of the last card. What was the last card you had in mind? Uh, five of clubs. The five of clubs. Now, isn't that interesting? Five of clubs. If I were to tell you I knew out of the entire pack of cards, out of the whole deck, if I knew that was the one that you're going to finally decide on in your mind, you might think, well, he's probably making it up. Probably wasn't like that. But look, I want you to see on the back of the five, I wrote the word yes. I wrote the word yes on the back of the five. And you might go, well, wait a second. Probably they all have yeses. Probably there's something written on the back of all of them. And there is something written on the back of all the cards. See, on the back of this one, it says no. This says no, this says no. In fact, and I want you to get this on camera so that people can see every single other card that you did not name, every single other card, they all have no. And the super cool part for me is that all the cards can be closely examined. In German, it's called Lachulen. In French, it's Stoklaken. In Danish, the word we want to get to today is In English, it's called showstopper. That's right, showstopper. Something that stops the freaking show, ladies and gentlemen. This is the kind of trick that does that. Because there's a whole bunch of card tricks and different tricks I teach on this channel. And I think a lot of them are very strong and powerful. And you could certainly end your show there. But some tricks, some tricks just shout, just shout show's done. Grab your coats and go home and go to the hospital because you've been mind blanked. Mind blanked. It's my new series, blanked. So this is that kind of trick. Now, yes, you do need to set up a whole deck of cards to do this. But wow, there's just no way to follow this. It's just such a strong, strong trick. Okay? So here, let's take a look what we're doing. We're down here, my friends. We're going to do the prep. And the cool thing about this is they literally can, literally can, okay? Any single card, there's no force, they can change their mind, go back and forth, and it's always the one card that has the word yes written on the back. It's crazy. So here's what I've done. I've taken a deck of cards, and I've written the word no on the back of every single card, okay? No, 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 except for the last card. And the last card, I wrote yes. Now you go, well, how do you force that? How do you make sure they mention that one every time? Well, literally, they can name any one of these, and it always becomes the yes card. Now, again, I'm deliberately leading you guys, trying to inspire your curiosity, because how can that be so? Well, here's one part of the secret. This second to last card is a queen of spades. And this is a queen of spades. Okay, so these are duplicates. There's one other thing that really makes this work, and that is... Right here, I'm going to make sure to see if the light can get it. There is a piece of double-sided tape. Now, it's going to be very hard to see it on camera, but know that it's about an inch, an inch and a half of double-sided tape I've adhered right onto the queen. So, this is going to do all the work for me, this very cool gimmick. So, here's what we're doing. We've got all the no cards on top of the yes card, okay? Then we've got a duplicate queen is going to be second from the top. Now I'm hoping at some point in certain lighting this will flash. So you got to be careful about that, but I've got my double-sided tape on top of the yes, then I have my queen of spades that says no, then I have the rest of the deck. So when I have this in my card case all ready to go as a closing effect, I have it in my card case. Now of course, since I've got these written all over, what I do with people is I do some card tricks, some coin tricks, mentalism, whatever, and then I say, let me show you one last trick, and it uses a special deck of cards, a deck of cards I've prepared. And so these are in the card case, and I openly take out the cards in the case, and I remove this, and I make sure I buckle, I find if I buckle the card case or, or reach in and grab it and then pull, that even if it's stuck a little bit to the inside of the case, it comes out smoothly. Okay, that's the one little bit of effort in the trick. So having done that, now I deliberately spread the cards, and I cover the tape with my thumb. Now I'm not going to press down on the tape with my thumb, but I'm going to sort of uh, conceal people's sight lines on the tape 
just in case. I'm going to hold it about here and spread. I'm not going to spread off the top card or I show the two queens. Instead, what I do is I spread off the top five or six cards and spread them out like that. Okay? And I say, go ahead, think of any card. Change, take your time. They think of literally any card. Then I say, change your mind. Think of another one. And then finally I say, change your mind one last time, think of anyone. So it is an insane, I mean, mentalism with a pack of cards is about as direct as it gets. And they say the king of hearts. So I take the king out and I put it on top of the sticky tape. Then I grab the deck and I press firmly as I say, do you feel you could have chosen any card? And they say yes. And I say, you're absolutely sure. And I'm, right now I'm just applying Superman crypto grip on just to make sure that sucker sticks. Okay, so I'm there like that. And I say, well, you know what? I actually knew it because I wrote something on the back of every card. And now you can spread freely and P.S. note that queen, this is the duplicate now, everything looks exactly as it should, which I love, okay? I wrote something on the back of every card. In the back of yours, now you've got the world's easiest double lift. Boom. I wrote the word yes. One card, only one card, I wrote the word yes. Now, I take that and I put it in my pocket and I look at them and I go, ta-da, and all the heat's here. There's no heat here. It's all here. And then I say, well, actually, and I turn them over. Remember I said I wrote something on the back? I wrote no on the back of that one. Now they're thinking, of course, okay, how many actually have no? And you are, can build the drama here. I love this. I go, I wrote no on the back of the five and no on the back of the queen of diamonds and no on the back of king of clubs and actually no on that one, no on this one, no, 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 no. I wrote no on every single one of these cards. And I'm pretty sure right now some of you are thinking, no, 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 that is absolutely impossible. And it leaves them literally thinking that you can predict their free choice. They immediately go out and change their pin numbers. One thing that I've come to appreciate through all your DVDs is how you stress um, practice. Um, I like the fact that you don't sell any pipe dreams on your website that all your material is workable material that you in fact have performed for people out in the real world.